Hello, fellow resellers. I'm the Grateful Queen or Grateful Queen B, and I resell pre owned, pre loved clothes on the internet, on eBay. Um, I'm doing a little bit of Poshmark. Welcome to my channel. This channel has been a long time coming. I am someone who absolutely loves to learn and loves to get better at what I do, so I follow and watch every reselling, thrifting channel that I can, and now I feel like it's my time to give back. Um, so this channel is going to be all about things that I buy at thrift stores to resell on eBay and Poshmark. Poshmark I'm pretty new to, so um, hopefully we'll be learning along together about Poshmark. I've been doing it maybe six months or so. eBay I've been doing since 2011. Um, so today I thought I would introduce myself and my channel a little bit to you all and then I'll do a haul video afterwards. Haul videos are my favorite, so maybe they're your favorite too. Please be um, kind and gentle because I am learning this thing. I, I'm new at a YouTube channel. I'm new at making these videos. I have a ton to learn. Video editing maybe so I can put some quality content out there. Um, and all that stuff. So if any of that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Um, a little bit about me. I started reselling in 2011. I remember that year for sure because it's the year my son was born. Um, I have a seven and a half year old son and a kind of a cute story about how I started reselling was that, um, well, I've always thrifted. I grew up thrifting, but I never shopped online. And then when my son was born, some family members gave us some really high quality organic pajamas. The name brand is Hand An Hannah Anderson. Hannah Anderson. Maybe some of you are familiar. And when he outgrew them, I was like, oh, I'm going to get him some more. So I go on the website and what are they like 40 to $50 for a pair of organic cotton pajamas? And I was like, no way. Let me try and find these somewhere else. So that led me to eBay. And I started buying him a lot of clothes on there. And then I had the bright idea like, huh, why don't I sell some of his older stuff in order to buy him new stuff? So I did that for months. And so I had a little kind of store where I was just like um, selling his stuff and using the money that I earned to buy him more stuff. And I was a little slow to the game before I realized, oh my God. There's stuff on there for me too. So I started buying all my clothes on eBay. Um, I love clothes. I live in Northern California. I love bohemian fashion, brands like Anthropology and Free People, but I don't love going to Macy's and throwing down $150 for a little sundress. But I want that sundress. So I'll go on eBay and find it and buy it for $30. So for a long time, I was not treating this like a business. I was selling on eBay to make money and I would take the money that I made and turn around on eBay and buy stuff for myself and my family. Then I started doing enough of it that I had some leftover money. I'm like, I can't even spend all the money I'm making. So that's when I started saying, huh, why don't I, why don't I pursue this a little more seriously and turn it into a side hustle? And that's what I've been doing since 2011. Um, I do have another job. So this is a side hustle for me. I am part time. When I have extra time, I love to do nothing more than thrift, take photos, list things. It's like, um, it's like a video game for me. I mean, I just love doing it so much. So I have another job. That's my career that I work part time. I'm not going to get into any of that on this channel. This channel is going to be solely th thrifting. I love thrifting. Um, I grew up thrifting with my mom. My mom, single mom, six kids. That's what we did for a good time. And it still is. When I get together with my mom and sisters now, we go thrifting. So it's in my blood. I totally love it. The other reason I want to make this channel is... This is the last thing I'm going to say, and then I'll get to the haul, because that's probably why you're here. Um, the other reason I want to do this channel 
is because I believe a lot in personal responsibility and accountability. And I'm hoping that if I talk to you about the things I want to do to improve my eBay store, my Poshmark closet, that I'll be accountable to you and I'll do it. For example, when I thought, I really do want to do this YouTube channel thing. I'm a little bit afraid of, um, you know, the haters on YouTube, the trolls, the negative energy and people. So I'm going to do my best with that, with comments and things like that. But I want to grow in my business and I want to have a better store and closet. So when I thought about doing the YouTube channel, I looked at my closet and was like, I can't offer some education and um, inspiration for people if half of my closet looks great and the other half looks kind of crappy. So I went through my closet and I'm still working on my Poshmark closet and my eBay closet, but I went through and started like deleting listings that didn't look good. Listings where I took crappy photos because I didn't have good light, but that was my only day to take photos because I'm a mom and I work and I do what I can. Um, I ordered a lighting kit. I can't believe I've been doing this since 2011. I use natural light, but I've had no lighting kit. I have no professional steamer. I would just take wrinkled stuff and take pictures of it and think it was good enough. So I want to get better. Even if I can't do this full time, I want to have a quality eBay store I feel proud of. So I'm hoping you might be able to help me with that and I'll be able to help you with anything I know. I am not an expert. I am a regular person who does this and grows and learns. And um, maybe we can help each other and support each other. Let's do it. So let me show you a few things I bought to resell. This is a bin full of stuff that I'll probably list on Poshmark. I'm trying to put my like more trendy, fashionable, younger items on Posh. I only have about a hundred items on there now. I really need to grow it, but it's a lot of work. It's a lot of internet sharing. Um, it's a lot more screen time for me, so I'm kind of slow going with that. I could use your help um, on learning better ways to be more efficient and do posh better. But I'm on board. It took me a long time. Um, and then my more kind of mature items, like my J. Jill, my Chico's, my Talbots, which I sell a lot of, is going in my eBay store. I'll have another haul coming up on eBay store stuff. This is probably Posh Bark, but we'll see. Check out this awesome free people top I just got yesterday for $5 at a thrift store. I've been coveting this shirt in this color from free people, and there it was. Happy girl. This stuff has to be steamed when my steamer gets here. Um, so check out this awesome, amazing anthropology tunic. Look at the stitching on that. It's by 1 September. I realize that I've got the camera facing me, so the labels are going to be backwards to you. Sorry. I'll figure that out. Uh, another way to learn and grow. 1 September. Super cute. Probably Poshmark. Probably put it on there for 30 bucks. Probably send out offers. I'd be really happy to make 20. 20 bucks is like my new theme. My new theme? My new kind of business model. I was buying tons of stuff and selling it for like 10 bucks and just flipping tons of it, but I'm tired of doing that. It's a lot of work. So I'm trying to get my average sale price up to like, I'd be happy with 20 bucks because after fees and shipping and cost of goods, I walk away with six to eight bucks per item. I can live with that. We the free, free people. This is nice. This is new with tags. Where is the taggy tag? Here it is. See the cutout on that? Super sweet, super stretchy, kind of a rosy pink uh, ivory color. Nice. Thrift store find. You will learn that I'm a little bit free people obsessed. Did I already say that in this video? I might have already said it. You're going to hear about it a lot. I don't know why I love the brand so much. This is a cool t-shirt. Trunk. Harley Davidson. Embellished. Super cute, size small. Guys, I hate to start out this way, but um, this bin has been sitting here. It's a mix of stuff. Like, some of it I got at the Goodwill store. Some of it I got at the um, Goodwill outlet, the bins. 
Some of it is from my closet. So this isn't like a genuinely good thrift haul where I can say I paid $4.99, I hope to get this. It's kind of a mix of things I like, brands I like, um, but I can't get too specific on this particular video about um, how much I paid for it and how much I hope to. I'll, I'll do other videos like that. This is Madewell. Love the Madewell. It's selling pretty good for me on Poshmark for about 20 to 25. This is just a Madewell t-shirt. Super basic, size small, really soft, feels amazing. Young people are loving that brand. Another free people item. Oh my God, I love this dress so much, you guys. You probably know it, Intimately Free People. It's a slip dress. It's called the trapeze dress. I have a little confession. I have this dress in my closet. I have six of these dresses in my closet because I love it so much. These trapeze dresses, um, slip dresses, look good on everybody. I think they do. I mean, they're just a super flattering cut and style. I get tons of compliments. I have, um, this one's an extra small. Um, but that, I am a size 10 approximately, and I wear a size small in free people because I'm, f I'm a size 10. I'm 5'4", four, four and a half on a good day, and Free People, in my opinion, makes things for tall, thin women. So if I go any larger than small, it's always way too low cut or too long. So I have that dress in many colors and patterns. I am looking for an ivory one, though. That's the one I'm coveting. But I don't want to pay a lot for it. Uh, what else is in this bin? This is a cool thing I found when I went to the bins a long time ago. It's new. It's one of these, like bohemian leather and basket weave bags brand new I found like three or four of them when I went to the bins a long time ago and I held on to this one thinking maybe I'll keep it but I'm just not using it so I think someone on posh might like this super cute I don't know what I'm gonna list it for 30 bucks maybe it has a new tag on it for 55 and best offer let me tell you a little bit about um the bins so I hear in YouTube videos, people referring to the place, the Goodwill outlet, where you pay by the pound, not by the item. I hear people calling it the bins. Where I live, everybody calls the one around us the dig. I don't know. And uh, it's $1.69 a pound. I used to go there a lot when I had lots of energy and a little bit more free time than I do now. Our dig bins, Goodwill outlet, takes a lot of energy for me because it is dirty. It is not like the bins that I'm seeing in your videos, guys. It's not like um, a store with good lights and it's not like a regular store. It's like a garage. It's in like a big garage warehouse. It's super dirty. Um, and I can, I can roll with that, you know, but um, I just find I have to go there at nine and wait in line in order to get a cart at that place. People are super competitive about the carts. It's a lot of pulling. There's usually fights there, stuff breaks. I mean, I love it in some way. I love the culture of it. And it takes a lot of energy for me and I haven't been going. Which means my cost of goods has been higher. That's not good business, Queen B. Queen B. I love this brand, AG jeans adriana goldschmidt i bought these hoping they would fit me because they're a 30 and that's my size but these ones feel really tight um they look like leather don't they look like leather pants super skinny leg kind of a they're called the legging super skinny i'm not super skinny enough to get my butt into these i wish i was because they are awesome if you go to Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack and see AG jeans, they're like $200, I think. Am I an expert on any of this? No. Um, but I've seen them there, certain styles, for 200 bucks. The resale on them has not been as good for me on these. What do, have you guys had luck with AG? Maybe I'm pricing them too high because if they're $2,250 at Nordstrom, I was thinking I'd put them on there for like $50. Bucks. I'm not getting much action on my AG jeans. Should, maybe I need to lower the price. Or hold out? Or are they not as popular? What? Let me know what your experience is with AG. I just think they're amazing jeans. Oh, guys. God, I love clothes so much. I should have said that right away in the beginning of my intro. 
I love clothes. That's how I got myself into this whole thing. Look at these. These are a super hot new, um, new herb jeans brand called Current Elliot. Look at that. Can you see? Sorry, everything's backwards, you guys. I think I have to set the camera up and then turn it. I'll learn. This is the Current Elliot, the Zip Flare Skinny in a size 30. 32. That was the issue. I, I bought these for me. Um, I guess they're a really up and coming brand. Maybe they're not so up and coming anymore. Maybe you've all are all super aware of them, but just a kind of a muted black skinny leg jeans. Look at the ankle detail. Oh, I love you. Um, but they're a little too big for me. I guess I'm a 30. I wanted them so bad. And you know, in my posh closet, my posh closet is Grateful Queen. I have some current Elliott jeans, but they have not sold. I follow some other amazing YouTubers, people like Empty Hanger, who has educated me a lot from her videos about jeans. Do you guys just all want to be Empty Hanger? I, I love her. Um, is this weird? I hope not, but I'm just talking about her because why not? She's awesome. Check out her channel. Check out her store. I just want to be her because she does the business so well. I give myself the excuse like, well, maybe if I was full time, I could do it as well. But I don't even think I could because she is so organized, so professional. She has all the right tools. She has a beautiful room in her house where she can work out of. And I think she does things really well. I believe that she sets the model and example for what doing this kind of business could be. If you have not gone to her channel, check it out. Thank you so much, Empty Hanger, for inspiring me in so many ways. You're awesome, awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah, I wanna be her. I want to be Empty Hanger. I wanna be as neat and organized and stuff. Oh, look at this cool thing. I haven't decided what to do with this, guys. I bought this for $5 at a church thrift store. It's a Betsy Johnson dress. I don't know how stylish Betsy Johnson is anymore. Like, I don't know if it's considered a real designer. But look at this. You're going to die. Loving it. Let me hold it up. It's black crochet and lace. I'm trying to find the straps. Look at this. Oh, look at that lacy crochet goodness. It's like a midi length with a ruffle lace. Oh, so good. I have no idea if I should put this on eBay or Posh or um, I've never done thread up of you guys. I've heard mixed things. So I, I haven't listed it yet because I'm not sure. I got to do a little research, I guess, on that baby. Could be worth nothing or it could be valuable. Don't know. What are these guys? Oh, I love these. Pilcro on the letterpress. Sold, I believe, at Anthropology. Sometimes, all the time. Um, I got these because I love any, like, a military color. Army green. I put that in the title. Look at these. Have, like, a moto feel to them and some slanted zippers. Skinny and zippers at the ankle. Why can't I find these in my size? I think they're a size two, lucky. Oh, these do say made on the tag inside for anthropology. That's good. Love these. The, uh, I think, I'm trying to find the size for you guys, but I don't see it. So it says number two, but I don't know if that's the size. Isn't it annoying when you find a pair of pants and like they're great, but they're missing the tag. So you have to measure. I just measure and put the measurements in and, or I'll look it up on their site. Like, okay, if the waist measures 13 across, what size is that? I like these a lot though. You cannot go wrong with like anything military inspired, camo, utility, fatigue, some tighter words. That stuff usually does pretty well for me. Okay, I'm, I'm just gathering up this little haul and I'm going to grab a few more things to show you. Yes, I have a lot to learn. I hope to learn from you all, maybe in the comments or all that. A few more things to show you. What do you guys think and what experience have you had with belts? Right now, this is 
um, spring of 2019. Um, it's really stylish to wear a graphic t-shirt, a distressed t-shirt with like some high-waisted jeans or some skinny jeans and a really cool big belt. I love belts. So I, I, um, I found some of these at, we have a Salvation Army thrift store. It's their Salvation Army thrift store has really different strategies for pricing. It's like, it's not like they do, Goodwill does the tags. And, and all shirts are $5, all jeans are $10, all dresses are 10 at my Goodwill right now. Does that seem like a lot? $10 for a dress, $10 for jeans? And right now at this moment in time, they are not doing any 50% off day anymore at the Goodwill. The main line, main line, main, main store Goodwill. Um, so I've been trying to find some other stores to go to to keep my cost of goods down because it's expensive. Um, so I've got, went to Salvation Army. Salvation Army individually tags everything. So it's not like dresses are 10. Every single dress has a different price and it is all like willy nilly. I, I cannot see any rhyme or reason to their pricing, but I discovered they have a 50% off sale on Wednesday. I work on Wednesday. So it's like, I'm busting down there on my lunch break right now, trying to pick up some stuff. Um, apparent, I guess their, their prices get done in San Francisco and then they come up here to where I am. Anyway, I, I checked out the belts. This one smells awesome, you guys. I'm sitting here holding it to show you. I'm going to put this on Posh. It's Michael Kors. The brand name doesn't really matter to me on this. I don't know whether Michael Kors belts sell for a lot, but look at this. Wait, let me get it the right way for you. It's got like these gold hoops and this braided so it looks really good on, it looks super good on. This is like a smaller, extra small though. Oh, it says medium, medium. Oh, yeah, maybe. Hmm, I should have tried this one on. That is one of my biggest problems as a reseller. I want to keep most of the things I buy and sometimes I do, or I at least keep them for a little while. Um, yeah, that's a little problem for me. Lulu, some Lulu leggings, the little size dot is in the pocket. I love when that size dot's there, size eight. These are capri, skinny, purple. I forget what they're called. I might've looked them up. Put them on posh, put them on for 40, hope to get 25, 30. I do a lot of offers. I take a lot of offers. Um, this I bought, I don't know that the brand's anything special, 85th and Madison. I think it might be Nordstrom Rack, but I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I love the style of this. I like how it has this knit collar with the stripes. And then look at the um, detail. And when you put it on, this is all mesh. I just think it's really cool. It looks good on, I think. This is a size large. I actually modeled it in my Poshmark closet. Oh, you guys. Are you guys doing that? Posh and modeling? I don't know what I think. I'm just trying to like get on board. I'm like, okay, I'm finally on Posh. I'm trying to learn as much as I can about Posh. And there is a trend of people modeling their clothes. And I love it. Like when someone else is modeling, I don't care what size or shape, they're all beautiful. Um, I like it. So I'm like, maybe I'll try that. So I've modeled some of the stuff. Don't judge me. I'm doing the best I can. Um, it's kind of fun. Part of it I like. It's new for me. It's an edge. I like constantly learning and growing, so I'm doing it. This is not any great brand. Um, Universal Thread, it sold at Target. I sell a little bit of Target stuff, but it's a um, jumpsuit romper with this embroidery elastic chest, elastic waist, and then it goes like wide leg, wide leg capri. I don't know. I thought it was super cute. And this kind of like fabric and style seems to be kind of in. I don't know what I'll get for that. 20 bucks. Happy as a clam with 20 bucks. Another free people top. Um, this is a size large, so I'm not going to keep it for myself. Although it's kind of fitted. So large is probably a good size for me. It's got some of this like intentional distressing 
along the edges super stretchy really nice for spring and summer 15 or 20 on that maybe let's hope this i love this i totally love so this is new with tags that's one of the reasons i got it two by vince camuto i think it sold at nordstrom rack but um 99 bucks it said i gotta change the way i'm sitting okay so it's like an off shoulder, silky, silky with little hearts. Really off shoulder. I think it's a large, it seems large. Oh, it says medium, but it must be, it's definitely oversized. <clears throat> What's it made out of? It feels so nice. I'm looking viscose, nice lightweight, silky viscose. Gotta have it. So this stuff, these last few items I got at that Salvation Army on the 50% off. So when there's 50% off, that's great. I do really well. So I'm going to try and go there more, even though it's a hassle. I can see what's happening. I can see that it's 25 minutes, and I think my video only lets me go to that. So I might get cut off here, but um, I'm glad I'm doing this. I hope I can get to know some of you others out there that are doing the same thing and that we can be a support to each other inspire each other, give each other ideas, be super positive about the whole thing. Um, my store name is Grateful Queen because that's one of the most important things to me is to live with gratitude every single day. That's what gets us through. That's what gets us through. Life dishes up lots of hard stuff all the time. That's just the way it goes. And we have to feel the discomfort of that and also return to being grateful for what is going well. Um, I'm so grateful for this eBay reselling gig. I'm grateful that it's something I really enjoy doing. It brings in some extra income. Um, and anybody can do it. Anybody can. You know? Look at the buckle on this. That's why I got this. It's just Gap. But how awesome is that? Brown leather. It's got a little bit of wear, but I'll just note that in the listing. This is the one that's like an extra small. This one's small. Not for this lady, but... How how cool would that look with some distressed jeans and a graphic tee? Perfect. I have no idea what people are getting for belts on um, Posh or eBay. It's a new market for me. Let me know if you know anything about that. All right. This has no tag in it. But how cool is it? I sold one of these recently. Graphic tee. Pink Floyd. Super thin and light. My guess is it's a medium to large. Um, I'm gonna put it in posh and I'll, I'll just put graphic tee because there's zero tags in it. And I don't see a brand, but these things are looking good on people right now, these distressed tees. 20 bucks maybe? All right, this will be the last one I show you. Then I'll let you go and hope that um, you took anything from this video, if it helped you at all, that makes me feel so good. It's enjoyable for me. Um, check out this awesome Madewell. Madewell's selling okay for me. It's so funny that I'm showing you all these, and they're backwards, but you at least get to see like what the tag looks like, right? Uh. <laughs> Madewell's selling for me in the $20 to $25 on Posh. It's a cool brand, but look at this. I haven't seen anything like this from them stretchy embroidered neckline look at the gingham plaid check awesomeness of this love it it's 100 percent caught and it's a size extra small i don't know if i could pull this off personally i would love to see this on somebody i would love to see some gorgeous little smaller sized woman rock this i can't do a ton of prints unless they're more like muted personally it just doesn't look the way i want it to Thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm happy to hear and read your comments. I hope to get to know some of you. This is kind of fun. I hope we can support each other and um, help each other on this reselling journey. And um, bye for now. Thanks.